I think tongue is probably one of the most misunderstood organ meats. My favorite way to cook tongue is a recipe that my old sous chef from Argentina showed me. Patriel, I know you're probably going to watch this. Thank you, it's a great recipe. More or less, I made a couple changes. We're gonna take some lamb and goat tongues. I have a mix here and we, we're gonna cook them in a little bit of water and some mirepoix. And all you gotta do is really just put the tongues in here and forget about them for a few hours. The skin on them is gonna keep them pretty nice, nice and together. You will want to make sure you don't totally cram your pot full because they will expand a little bit. Hit it with a little salt. And then I'm just gonna bring this guy up to a simmer. Our tongue's been cooking for about an hour and a half. They should be nice and tender, but I'll show you one of my favorite tricks for seeing if braised meat is done or not. I call it the ultimate culinary tool, or some of my cooks will call it pokey. Basically, it's a paper clip stuck through a wine cork. I can tell you how done meat is if it goes through clean, like this is totally soft, so I know this is done. But you can use it for fish, you can use it for meat, you can use it for vegetables, really anything. And you can afford to lose it. The thing we gotta do is peel them, which is usually pretty easy. The, the only real key is that you want to have the tongues warm. The skin should come off pretty easily. There shouldn't be a lot of resistance. There we go. They should feel satisfying to peel. Now, sometimes, even when they're done, you might have a tongue or two that is kind of a problem, problem child. So for those guys, I like to keep a paring knife around. After that, I usually trim off a little bit of this bottom portion or any pieces that feel particularly flubbery. But more or less, there you go. That is your cleaned tongue. I got the tongues chilled, which makes them easier to slice, because you want to try to get them about a quarter inch thin. I don't know if I've ever made this recipe the same way twice. I use different herbs all the time. This, this one today we're gonna use a little cilantro, a little bit of parsley, but I really like mint. You could put tarragon, you could put basil, but one thing that does always stay the same with the herbs that I use is that I always use a mix. I like a blend when I'm gonna marinate these tongues. After you marinate it, it's gonna taste better. It's gonna taste good the first day, but it's gonna taste even better the next day. Now, I'll take a little bit of cilantro, a good little handful. It'll be about a quarter cup after it's chopped. A little bit of Italian parsley. I only like to use Italian parsley. I don't like curly parsley. Personal preference. Just give it a nice little rough chop. I like to leave some of the stems of cilantro and parsley in. They had a nice little texture. It tastes good. And now we just start burying these things in flavor. Another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some garlic to the marinade. But I'll tell you what we are not going to do is we're not gonna mince it. We're gonna keep this in the fridge for a while and the more you mince garlic, the stronger it gets. Two days afterwards, the garlic is gonna be way too strong and you're gonna have garlic tongues. So we take the garlic, and you just whack it with your hand. Plenty of oil, lots and lots of oil. We want it really nice and juicy. Red pepper flakes. This is another thing that I really vary what I do. I like them with serrano chilies. I like them with jalapeno. 
Sometimes I like them with no chili at all. It's really up to you and what you want to do. The biggest things are the herbs, red wine vinegar. Those are the two kind of non-negotiables. Maybe a little bit of lemon zest too. A little bit of red wine vinegar, just to taste. And we'll taste it all again to make sure that it's up to scratch. A little pepper. A little bit of lemon zest. I like to use a microplane. If you want to put a little bit of lemon juice in, that'd be fine too. Now we mix it all up, give it a taste, and then we'll keep seasoning salt. Forgot the salt. We'll keep seasoning until it tastes really good. That is the other key. You know, if I give people one word of advice on how to make their food better, it is tasting things before you serve them to your guests, and then tasting them again, and again, and again. That's the key. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Oh yeah. A Little more vinegar, a little more lemon zest, a little more salt, a little more cilantro, a little more chili, a little more of everything, just a little bit. And I'm gonna add a little dash of the lemon too. Yeah, that's good. So now, I'm gonna put the tongue in the fridge. It's gonna be good, probably at its peak in a day or two. I'll probably keep it around for four days. And there you go.